I manage the Subsistence Network Program. It's a research, development, test, and evaluation program that conducts research projects for the subsistence supply chain. DLA provides food and food-related supplies to all the military services. Defense Logistics Agency supports our mission, of course, as strategic partners. They help us standardize uh, everything from all of our different type of rations, whether it be garrison or operational rations, to our equipment and our warrior restaurants, and even to our food trucks and kiosks in supporting those operations. The Army as a whole, we use in excess of $2 billion globally, and the Army does acknowledge that uh, nutrition to the soldiers, which is food, is a key and foundation to Army readiness and for the soldier to be able to go that extra mile to defend our nation. The subsistence network is successful because we have the functional experts engaged. But all of industry does partner with the DLA R&D side uh, looking at technologies that can improve food product or improve efficiencies of operations. One of the big things that people don't know is we have a requirement in our military MRE contract to meet a surge if invoked by the government. The modernization within the statistics program is very important because it's not your father's mess hall anymore. The project with Warnick, who is one of our MRE assemblers, Warnick has been modernizing their food plant facility. With DLA R&D help and looking at new technologies, including automation, it puts us in a position to be able to meet surge requirements should they be invoked. Here at Warnock, we've got automation throughout the plant. We have pouch pick and place that are robotic, and they'll grab pouches coming off the production line at a rate faster than a human being can do it. Additionally, over in the food plant, we've got robotics that carry trays to and from the retort process, as well as to the packaging process. And so the ability to have that automation not only helps with efficiency, an indirect benefit is you don't have to have people doing it, you don't have repetitive motion injuries or things like that. Machines don't get tired, their joints don't get sore, and so automation helps things run more efficiently. And ultimately, because we're more efficient, we have the ability to surge if the military were to invoke it. AmeriQual is a MRE assembler, and they are leading a project for DLA R&D. It's a novel sterilization technology project. Behind me, is a uh, novel uh, volumetric heating sterilization unit or retort and uh, our involvement with DLA R&DA is they have actually provided funding in order for us to uh, perform research uh, specific to the polymeric tray program within utilized within the group rations feeding program to take two products from scratch all the way through development to FDA acceptance to so think of for example utilizing a microwave at home to heat a potato or a sweet potato, it's approximately five minutes versus if you were to wrap that in foil and put it in the oven or even try to make mashed potatoes, bring it to the boil stove top, it takes significantly longer to use, utilize conventional heating mediums versus uh, volumetric heating. So one of the other benefits of the novel heating medium is we'll be able to expand our product offerings and yield superior uh, overall product quality for flavor, texture, appearance. The value of working with the Defense Logistics Agency is they get to bring the expertise of all aspects of the supply chain. They're able to go out to vendors and manufacturers that concentrate specifically on that mission and allow us, the warfighter or the Army, to concentrate on its mission. We want to deliver tasty meals to warfighters. We like to think that what we're delivering is the equivalent of a home-cooked meal to someone who doesn't have the benefit of being able to be at home. So if we can deliver meals on time and give a soldier a taste of home, we feel like that's success.